hello friends today in this tutorial we will be looking at document dot get element by id method is practical example here so basically on the left hand side you can see this is our html here so let me just basically write the html let me give it a div tag here and i will be giving an id to it of result and inside this id basically in this element we will have a heading here which is this is the heading so this is simple html right here guys so basically if i refresh the page here you will now see this is the heading here which is mentioned here so now i need to target this element this div element by guys using the using the method called as get element by id so you can see i have included this script.js so inside this how to do this guys so basically this method guys uh, returns the element that you are targeting by the id so you can see i have given this id attribute here this is the most important thing to note in mind <laughs> if in this method you need to give this attribute id this this should be unique you can't be doing like this you can't be having another element having the same id you can't be doing that this is not valid because id should be unique so there is must be a single element you having this unique id so now <coughs> we can target this element let me call this variable as result so now we can use this method guys which is document dot get element by id so here we can pass the id that we have given here so you can see we have given the id which is result here so here we can pass the name of the id which we have given so <coughs> now basically what is the return type of this method so what it returns so basically if the method is successful if i console log here console log result so what you will find out here basically if i now show you the console here so it will give you this method here you can see i have passed this id here result here you can see that we have passed this id result here so that's the id that we have given in the html so a element is existing here so basically it is checking the html if the id that we have passed here result if the element exists with its id so it has found out this element so it is returning this element full element inside this return statement so it has stored this inside this result here so now let me just make it slight mistake here let me put a wrong id here so now it is again checking here again in the html so this id doesn't exist so now this will return the <laughs> null return value we will see that if it doesn't find out the element then it will return null here you will see that so again if i change it to write id here it will give the access to the element here that we are targeting so now after this guys you can manipulate the element in any different ways you can <laughs> change the inner html <laughs> property of this so there is <laughs> inner html property you can say changed so if i refresh you will see it has changed here so we can we can simply have a simple button we can simply say here change heading so we can simply bind a on click here <coughs> so we can simply bind this inside this method here change so like this we can simply copy pasted this line here and also this line also so first of all it will get access to that element by using document dot get element by id after that we will be changing the inner html of that so paste it here so now what will happen if i click this button you will see the heading will be changed here you will see that you can see that so in in similar manner guys you can also manipulate it say inner text also this also i think makes the same thing you can see that you can even change the color as well which is style dot color red you can see that so you can just manipulate any css property that you want so the basic video was about document dot get element by id guys so basically it face basically fetches all the content of the element so document dot get element by id so this is we have given this id here this can be <coughs> anything so basically we are fetching the element by its id so that's why this get element by id so it fetches a single element and basically then we can manipulate any sort of uh, things we can do with this element so this was the video guys thank you very much for watching this i will be seeing you in the next one